So welcome back, we are just coming into camp now, we've got a couple of fields to cover and we should be into the trees, so let's find a nice little park up spot. So, right, I'm out with Little now, and she's bugging me to get the pop top set up because since I've had this van, she's not actually stopped in it yet, and she is itching, itching to have a play in it. Let's get set up. Worst farmer ever. Worst farmer ever. As soon as you pull into a woods, I don't know what it is, you're just de-stressed out yet. It's lovely. That's a uh, little one up there. She's got her uh, phone or an iPad or whatever game she's playing on at the minute. Got some fresh air. She's out of the house. That's the main thing, she's out of the house. And she's enjoying that because it's a new little den or whatever for her, isn't it? So, I'm going to sit and get smoked out by the fire for half an hour. So I know, I know there'll be someone thinking, oh, how do I get on this? I want to come with you and all the rest of it, but you've seen from the open meet i can't be doing with hundreds of people coming down and all the rest of it and that's why it's going to be like i'm going to ask if i can get a patreon meet down here or something like that because it's a manageable group of people and as the patreon grows and all the rest of it i want to be able to offer it as more of like a club thing where people can come along they can learn they can do bits and bats and and go that with it but i can't just do it for everybody um plus as well I've got to look after the people that invest in the channel and want to see more of this over the people that just take what they want when they want and mug it off and don't want to invest anything, which it's harsh, but there's a lot of these people out there.
because it's such a lovely hot day as you can see behind me uh, my defective child has decided because there is a lake here that there's only one thing that we can do what's that Ola? swim in the lake swim in the lake <sighs> Do you want us to think I'd strangle your dad? No. Didn't stand a chance of strangling your dad. No. <laughs> they probably bought you around the <laughs> I don't do that to everybody, come on. Yes, you do. <laughs> you break somebody's nose. Quality amenities block here. <sighs> Into the back cave. For anybody wondering, this large area here is going to be a big communal area. What they're not about doing is getting the machine in, making a couple of flat pads and stuff to get some vehicles in, communal fire pit and stuff. Um, should make a bright good area this summer. And tonight, Matthew. Well, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury! <laughs> Say hi. Introduce yourself. Where you, who are you? Where are you from? And you go, I'm Rich from Doncaster. And tonight, Matthew. And tonight, Matthew. I'm going to come out as. I'm going to be Gary answer. Glitter. <laughs> Do you want to be in my gang, my gang? No, coming out with Gary Glitter. <laughs> oh, so, as you can see, it's a fair sized place. And then up this section up here, you see a bit of a lake. Unfortunately, they've had vandals in. It is a mess at the minute, but they are going to tidy up for summer. And I think this will be a lovely, lovely spot. Imagine this with a bit of foliage and a bit clearer. Parking your vehicles up all the way around this. What a spot. Yeah, you can hear the hum of the motorway, but all in all, lovely views. It's the bottom that's scaring me. It's not the bottom that scares you, it's the graboids. The well, when you're in, I'll get in. Until that time, I'm going to sit in the sun. I have learnt over the years to stick to wait till they're in and swimming round before you get in, and it's less time that you've got to play in the freezing cold water. <laughs> it's hard not to push. <laughs> it's just slimy when you put your foot, it's first foot slimy in. When you, first it. you want to hold on to the stick, Ola? <laughs> Half of me kind of doesn't want her to go in because I don't want to swim in the frog spawn. <laughs> Her choice though, her choice. So you, you didn't like the muddy feet thing then? No! Why would I? Well, I, I, I can't say I'm disappointed. I really can't say I'm disappointed. Because it's... Uh, I think when we come back from my birthday, and all the lads are in there, it'll be alright, but... It's not right warm today. Should we go back and... Uh, yeah, very much. It does very much, yeah. yeah. Right, let's set camp up then. So this is now the space that we've got as the top bunk for those that were interested. It is a double bed. I did try a mattress to start with, um, but it didn't let the roof close all the way down because I was a Muppet and basically, you know when you go for an inch mattress, then a two inch, you think, oh, I'll three, and then it got too big. And So I've gone for the inflating foam mattress, which is comfy enough for the small people that are going to go up here. As well as that, there's a heated blanket up here uh, and charge ports. She's got a power bank up here for now as well. And you're going to get a double duvet for tonight. This is a nice touch, having this totally open. But as it's getting a little darker now and a little colder, we'll, uh, we'll drop this down. So I don't know if you can see, we've just got some tabs here. You just release the tab, let's that off. Same on the front. These are a bit hard to get on, but all I did is I pulled the roof halfway down to get to them. And then just pull, that allows the whole thing to come down. I also got the window kit as well. You can see there's a, a mesh there, and this just zips up. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a bit of a perspective window. These ones are mesh. Um, I kind of like it that they're mesh, actually. They're like a good little draft through. And same again on to the side. We've already wired up here, so I just need to trim the floor here. And there's going to be one of them um, little lights where you've got the USB port and a, a wooshy map light. But for now, we're not short of electric. And on that note, I want to say a thank you to a lot as well, because I know this is more of an outdoorsy channel uh, and all the rest of it. And you're not so fussed about product videos, however, that video, the last power bank video, paid for this new camera. So hopefully you can see the difference in quality between this one and the previous ones I've been using, or just my phone. I'm trying to up the game a little bit and little videos like that 
that paid for this camera basically so thanks to those that still went on it anyway and even more thanks to the few people that actually bought one and um, just clicked on the link because by you going on that video and clicking on the link they can see that people are going on and clicking and it looks better for me and it gives more of a push for them to pay me to do another one and I get to show you another little bit of Gucci kit as well I suppose on that side of things but I prefer to do integrated videos than just dedicated kit ones how does this sound I'm gonna try and get back to the one video a week would you prefer if I did my normal video a week and did a kit and skills video as additional ones where I'll either do something like fire lighting, show you a bit of kit, something like that as an additional bonus video as well as then you can cherry pick the ones that you prefer watching, don't like watching, whatever you want to do. Let me know down below because I taper this to what you guys are wanting to watch anyway rather than, you know, I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go along. That fire is absolutely lethal. You get sat in one of them chairs with a nice little sheepskin keeping your back warm and stuff. You've got the heat off the fire on your front and you're just like, lethal. This was a little bit of an impromptu kind of night out. I got some other plans, things changed and we thought, sod it, let's go. All I've got from the local post office is bread, milk, eggs, and a bit of cheese. So that's breakfast. So what I've done is, oh, I grabbed her a Russell's burger as well. So she's had that, which is filth, but for some reason, she doesn't get to eat food like that at home. So she, she loves it, it's a bit of a treat. So she's had that and she wants a pot noodle now. So that's her squared away. But something that you might want to think about is, I always like to keep a bit of food in the vehicle. And not only have I got like masses of rat packs and all the rest of it, but, what about your snack box for those that haven't seen it before so in the back this is just a bit of a it's not the full-blown thing and i've got loads of other stuff in the cupboards but for vehicle to vehicle you've got brew kits snacks you've got loads of cup of soups little bowl more um super noodly things more snacks in this one here we've got some base things to make other stuff out of whether it be pot noodles whether it be Uncle Ben's rice or just loads and loads of boiling the bag meals because each one of these is a half decent meal and they're a lot better than they used to be again more brew kit type stuff more super noodly type stuff but if you are like me and you just disappear off out of the house you know you're always gonna have a bit of water you know you've got something to cook off yes i've got loads of other odds and sods but it's nice just to keep using a bit of these items and replenishing them next time you're in the shops or something like that just grab a couple of extra boiling the bag things or super noodles or things like that put them in the vehicle you know you've always got a couple of meals you never know you might be broke down somewhere in a land rover i can't help it i can't help it um or whatever brand of vehicle you may have <laughs> and you just want something warm to eat get the cooker on get it down you so what have you got well tonight i've got tonight matthew tonight matthew tonight matthew from matthew i've got uh frozen mashed potatoes some sausages some yorkshire puddings and a little bit of gravy proper food then yeah not like all those plastic that plastic she's having burger, Plast plastic plastic burger not like plastic, your plastic, plastic noodles. noodles yeah mine's better like your plastic. <laughs> it's a good job you don't have to eat that it's at home Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings. Okay, they're already cooked, but they're nice. A little bit of veg, and you've actually got like a Sunday lunch type. Off of Sunday dinner, yeah. Off of a campfire. And then you can also then do the uh, roast potatoes. Virtually, a decent meal. Just some peas, some peas some on peas that, and you'd be yeah. away, yeah. You need one of them um, trays that go over your knees. Just so happens, Rich. <laughs> All right then, professional fat man. Dinner is served. <laughs> bon appetit. So tonight we are trying Pindi Chana Aloo 
which I'm guessing is some sort of potatoey curry. So that, it's all right, but it's very much a side dish. It's, um, I don't know, there's, there's something missing, like the meat bit's missing, kind of. That's probably the point of it. It probably is a veggie curry or something, but yeah, it's, it's tasty, but it's missing a bit. Bins that one off. <clears throat> lovely flavour sauce but it was just lentil 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 so we've gone with the chicken curry rice and potatoes can't break that one it wouldn't be an evening by the fire if we don't have some schmores with some marshmallows yes have you got a stick yes have you yeah it's right next to you oh okay well you could use that or you could be a professional fatty like me he's got fancy plastic sticks plastic sticks for the fire i don't think plastic would work Lynn, oh. that. That's plastic. Plastic? That's yeah. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. No, like right, that. well, you use your sticky stick that you find <laughs> yeah, on the floor. Yeah, I will use my sticky sticky stick. Oh no, you wanted the stick, didn't you? The the dog weed on. No, this is yours. All right. Not sharing. <laughs> okay. Not sharing. Okay. This is for you to, to do for me, Daddy. <laughs> fling it at you when it's hot. <laughs> 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 So there we go. We have got Mars bar, a marshmallow. What's it? There you go. That is yours. To make yourself feel disgustingly sick to go with all the other child abuse, abuse food that I've given you today. Yeah. Have fun. So, little experiment last night. I got her a heated blanket for uh, for Christmas because I'm exciting like that. And uh, I just wanted to see how much electric it uses. So it's got two settings, high and the low setting. Put it on the low setting and it was on for around about 10 hours. It used 46% of the power bank and that is just over a thousand watt hours. So 500 watt hours over 10 hours, you do the math. Very, 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 very inefficient, but it, le it gave a level of comfort for, uh, for sleeping in the roof tenty bit and it was chilly last night. So, could she have gone without it? Yes, she had a 13 tog duvet up there and a mattress. Was it nice for her to have? Yes. I'm not short of electric on this thing. What I will be doing though, is I'm gonna change the socket that's up there and run a bit bigger cable at the other end so that she can run that off the Renogy 200 amp battery that's, that's in the back. Reason for that being, if it is cold, usually it gets light from what, four or five o'clock? So there's not gonna be many hours where there's not gonna be solar coming in soon, if that makes sense. So, yeah, or we're driving somewhere. Good experiment though. So I suppose it's that time of the morning we need to get the kettle on. Cause I need a brew. time without fail. It's the little things. <sighs> Is the fire still uh, smouldering? Yeah, that's that big log from last night. We went put a couple of logs on this morning and it went straight back up again. Get my chocolate. Thank you. 
There you go, how do you? Slop. Approve. Always tastes better on an open fire. Changed my mind. Can you get your vent out your side, please? No, grab that for me. <laughs> Too efficient. So, thank you very much if you made it this far. All the links in the description down below. And uh, yeah, it was just a well chilled out one just for uh, just getting out of the bank holiday weekend because we saw the queues everywhere in Derbyshire and all the rest of it. And we were going to go up to see my water, but I'm not, I'm not dealing with all the Muppets on the lanes and all the rest of it, so luckily got an invite down here and uh, it's only a couple of hours away, so thank you very much for the invite, you know who you are everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.